Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make Mexican hot dogs. So in case you guys want to learn how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe, we're going to need eight of your choice of hot dog franks, eight slices of bacon, three cups of pinto beans, eight pieces of bolillo bread, one handful of cilantro, two small Roma tomatoes, two jalapeno peppers, a half of a small white onion, two small avocados, one lime, shredded Mexican cheese, 15 ounces of nacho cheese sauce, crema mexicana, butter, mayo, mustard, one teaspoon of garlic salt, and one teaspoon of black pepper. So these are our ingredients, now let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to start by working on our pico de gallo. So we're going to start by chopping our jalapeño. And it's up to you if you wanna remove the seeds and devein them. I'm going to leave them just because I want the little spiciness coming from that. So just cut them like that and just cut them into small little pieces. Now for the topping of your vegetables, you can always cut them the way you want, you know, because this is going to be the way you're going to eat them, you know, according to your liking. So for some people, this might be too big. For some people, it might be too small. So depending on how you like them. So we're going to transfer them into a bowl. Okay, we're going to do the same with our tomato. Okay, so for your onion, we're just going to cut it in half because half of it is going to go with our pico de gallo and the other half is going to go with our pinto beans. So cut it in half and do the same thing. Hold on. Just remember. If you're not into onions, you can always take them out and don't add them. Okay. So grab your other, the other half of onion and chop it as well and just set it to the side. All right, so for our avocado, because we are going to add avocado to our pico de gallo, so we're just going to cut it in half, remove the pit, Come on, kitty. So just cut your avocado in line like that. So create little cubes. And then just scoop them out. So we're going to scoop them with our bowl. Scoop them in our bowl. So scoop them out and put them in your bowl. Okay. All right, so once we have all of our vegetables in our bowl, we're going to add our cilantro. And we're going to squeeze our lime. So get all the juice out. Now we're going to add our garlic salt and our black pepper. So now just mix everything together and try not to squeeze your, try not to smash your avocado. So lightly just move it around. All right, so our pico de gallo is done once you mix everything together. Now you wanna try it and see if you wanna add some salt, but to be honest, this is perfect. Okay, so now I'm just going to set it to the side and start working on the beans. I set a medium sized frying pan. We're going to set it at medium high heat and we're going to add a little bit of oil. 
So once your oil is heat up, we're going to add our onion. So we're just going to cook the onion until they turn translucent color. All right, so once our onions are ready, we're going to add in our pinto beans. Now we're just going to mix it all together. And just cook them for about 10 minutes. All right, so while we wait for our beans, we're going to heat up our cheese. So you just throw it in a saucepan and heat it up. All right, so after your cheese and your beans are done, we can turn it off and start working on our hot dogs. All right, so now we're going to wrap our hot dog in our bacon. So you're just going to grab your bacon and then start at the top. Kind of tuck your, the edge with the bacon and just go around. So try not to overlap it. And then just make sure that both, edge, both edges are on the same side. And then try to tuck it in just a little tiny bit. Okay. So once you have it like that, we're going to set it flat like this and start working on the rest of our hot dogs. All right, so now we're just going to place our hot dogs in our frying pan. So make sure that you lay them on the edge. Okay, so both sides, just lay them down like that. And now we're just going to cook it until our bacon is fully cooked. So after three minutes, we're going to roll it over a little. So the other side can start cooking as well. All right, so we're just going to rotate them every two to three minutes until our bacon looks cooked. Okay, so it depends on how you like your bacon as well, you know. Then if you want to cook it longer, then that's going to be up to you. All right, so using the excess oil, I'm going to use it to uh, fry my yellow peppers. And that's extra, it's optional, you don't have to do this, but this is like the cherry on top. All right, so once your hot dogs are done, we're just going to remove them from our pan. Drain the excess oil. And just repeat the process. All right, so once we have all of our franks cooked, we're going to start working on our bread. All right, so now using a large frying pan or your comal, we're going to add two tablespoons of butter, or you can also use mayo. And we're just going to wait for that to melt. All right, so once your butter has melted, we're just going to place our bolillos and we're just going to toast them. So once that side has toasted, we're going to flip them over and do the same to the other side. Okay, so just flip it over and let the other side toast. And that one's a little toast. <clears throat> it's okay. So as soon as the other side's toasted, make sure that you remove them from the heat. So now we're just going to repeat the same process until we're done with the bread. All right, so we're going to grab our bread and we're going to open it in half. Just like that. Next, we're going to add our mayo. Squeeze some mayo in there. Spread it. Then we're going to place our hot dog frank in there. We're going to top it with some beans. And then our shredded cheese, some crema, our cheese sauce, mustard, and our pico de gallo. And now you are ready to run your hot dog business. <laughs> and there you go. We are ready to enjoy. And you cannot forget your jalapeno on the side. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part. Yes, I'm ready. You ready? 
Okay, let me put that down. <laughs> so look at this. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Giovanni loves hot dogs. I'm gonna eat the thing. I should eat the mm. thing. Mm. Seriously? Perfection right here. Super delicious, and the best part is super fast to make. Good? Yeah. Mm hmm. A little blue bag. Perfect for any gathering, you know, parties, anything, you guys. Seriously, I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ready to sit down? Alrighty, guys, and there you have it, my super easy and delicious Mexican hot dogs. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, eres perfecta.